Ezra. Bunnies! We have bunnies! We have a top of a bunny that we did last week. And this week we're going to do the bunny butt. And this is what I've done in the meantime. Bunny butt. Bunny butt. So let's get stitching. Asked you. All right. I just wanted to show you guys what I got done. It's not a lot, but I've been working on other things. How cute. This is my favorite square ever i think ever 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 i really like it it reminds me of just a big pudgy bunny i guess i don't know it's really cute and then look i did this with the new printer i've been playing with it it's bunny time it's bunny time so we did the top part of the bunny and then today we're going to do the bottom part now remember the rules that i'm making for myself for this one, it is for Lavender, who's getting married to a brown. So her name's going to be Lavender Brown. <laughs> and me, with my silly sense of humor, I just thought she needed to have a lavender and brown quilt. She has a really good sense of humor, so she'll appreciate that. So, same colors throughout. I haven't changed. I have three colors of brown, dark, medium, and light. Um, this is the dark one. I think this is the medium one. And then this is the light one. And we're going to make this bunny bottom match the bunny top. So we're going to be stitching on my embroidery machine. And it is a Luminaire 2 by Brother. So a Brother Luminaire 2. And uh, we call it Captain Jack. So why don't we head over to Captain Jack and get this party started. Captain Jack? Captain Jack. Oh, look. Look what I did. I made some wa more washi Leave cake. There. Yep. Okay. Uh, what did you go to? The, the other shot. Oh. The screen. Okay. So, uh, washi tape. Custom washi tape because it's animal adventure. I'm just loving this. I had it in another place, but you couldn't see it. So, all right. So, everyone's here. 34 uh awesome karina says hi everyone tuning in from my sewing room looks like a chocolate bunny yeah that's kind of kind of the idea i just thought it would be cute it's very dark but it's yummy okay so the first step oh yeah did everyone get their bobbin police patch i put it up on omelembroidery.com and it's free and uh, you could stitch it out. So Bob and Police. I just changed it though. So I'm good. I can see through here. So I'm using Cutaway. And I'm doing the 8x8 eight eight inch size. And it's going to look good. So let's get started. Finish editing the patterns. No. Go into embroidery. My bad. Alright. So placement is the first thing we're going to do. And I have the light brown uh, in the machine. I'm not really sure how well it's going to show up. Did someone eat Bjorn? <laughs> I don't know where Bjorn oh, is. No. Oh no! <laughs> I just, oh, he fell over. I got him. I, good thing nobody spotted that. <laughs> they would eat Bjorn too. Now I have Bjorn on the embroidery machine. So next we're going to put some batting and I'm using warm and natural batting. I'm so excited to be doing this quilt. It is coming along so fine. I, I don't know if it's going to be a quilt, maybe a lap quilt or a wall hanging, whatever she wants to do with it. I don't know how big it's. Oh, that's why Bjorn gets taken over. And he took some lavender with him, too. Yarn, I'll use you for a pincushion again, buddy. <laughs> you were so upset when I did that. <laughs> Everyone's talking about where they're from. Which stabilizer did you use for the bobbin police patch? 
Good question. I used water soluble stabilizer and the fabric that I used is the awesome patch fabric from Dime. You can see it's really stiff and nice. You could use tear away too, but I wanted a really clean edge. So that's how I did it. A lot of people, I think, do it that way. Okay, before we do anything else, we got to trim this down. And I always do trim it down because... Can you go to the other one, Don? Yeah. Um, because we don't want this thick batting in our in our sewing. So this is just a little tiny bit back further so we reduce the bulk seam allowance. Uh, way easier actually. Um, you still want it to the edge but just even a little bit makes a big difference because if you think that you got to sew this to another one so that's like four layers of fabric and two layers of batting. Well, it's getting pretty thick, I think. Uh, so, yeah, it's better to do it this way. Don't skimp on your trimming. Uh, lavender. I need my beautiful lavender. So, okay, I'm going to cheat. Nobody look here. Nobody look. Distract them, Don. Distract them. La! I'm not spraying anything. Nothing. So look at my, just wait for it. Look at my nice ironed fabric. Except for the edges. Looking good. I cheated. I should have ironed. But I cheated. So let's stitch this down. And it's awesome. I love the lavender. I love it. It's so awesome. Now, also to reduce the bulk, we can trim this one down. I don't think I did that on the other one for no reason. Did I? Yeah, I did. Alright, I just forgot, maybe. So, go to the wide camera, Don, and we will... Uh, trim this. Oh, it's going to stitch out again. I'll let it stitch out. And then I'll trim it. Because I was supposed to, that was placement. And then this one is tacked down because I forgot that it was smaller. Six joining us on Facebook. All right. How's it working on Facebook Live? I think we, so far. I think we finally have it figured out. Okay. So I pre-cut all my lavender squares, and that's why it's so much bigger. But remember that the batting comes out to the edge. So I'm going to use these pieces for the, um, the, the outside of it. It's cool. I, I had a rough day. I need more caffeine. <laughs> More caffeine. More uh, it's been kind of a crazy day. At least I wasn't up at 4 o'clock. So wide camera because I'm going to trim right here. Because okay. I don't have to be very careful doing it is why I'm doing it at my machine. So hopefully you guys can see. I'm not in the way of the camera, am I? No? No, you're good. Okay. It's a nice shot. Good enough, huh? Lynn's in the house and the King's in the house. All right. Hello, Lynn, and hello, Cindy King. Hope everything's going well with everybody. Fun on Wednesdays. I like it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you know, it is really a lot better trimming at the desk. I was thinking I could do it quickly, but... In Facebook? Yep. Okay, it's only in the group, though. It's not on the page. Okay. That's just good. so you know. That's good. That's yeah, I just thought I was trying to <laughs> try and so hard to make it easier for everyone to watch. And like I, I didn't see Facebook comments, so feel free to comment, and I can pass them on to Sue if we have questions. Yeah, I don't see them. 
I don't see them. With that other program that didn't work half the time, we could, but it didn't work half the time. So, <laughs> we're doing it a different way. Like Definitely. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of background designs, and I'm going to bring my other bunny into it. Yeah, I'll stick to the light brown. There's no rhyme or reason to it at all. It's just nice. So it's just like flowers and swirls and stuff like that. Maureen says she's having lunch with Sue and Don. Well, nice. Did we have <coughs> did we have lunch? Yeah, I think I did. Yes. It's been that kind of a day. Did you just have lunch? Yes, I know, dear. So this is kind of a swirly. This just adds kind of interest and whimsy to the whole design. I actually like the background little thingies. Trees and... What? What is this? this is what about your seam allowance? Oh, we're going to be putting the edges on it, like this one. Folded fabric edges? Yeah. Yeah. I can't think of what they are called, but yeah, that's she, why. She just that. Yes. Yes, I know it's kind of weird, but again, it keeps the bulk out of the seam allowance, and I think that's kind of important. That was a close-up of a bunny. I saw that. Alicia's on Facebook says it works. Oh, okay. Alicia was saying she didn't have the bandwidth to watch it. And Joy Anthony is on Facebook as well and says greetings from Wildfire, BC. Oh, Wildfire, BC. Hopefully that's a town and not because of what's going on. No, it, a tear. Dawn. I'd like to use some different colors on this, but I'm not going to. So i got to change to my medium brown. So basically this whole quilt is only going to be done in four colors. Uh, four colors of thread and two colors. No, four colors of thread and two different colors of fabric, and that's it. It's kind of a challenge, but I think it's going to be outstanding when it's done. And I got lots to do, so. Um, and if I didn't tell you guys, this is from Anita Good Design Animal Adventures. And I wasn't sure. I've been trying all this time to figure out what to do. And when it came out in the uh, Anita Good Design All Access, I was like, oh, well, they knew. <laughs> they knew. I knew right away what I was going to do. I've added some blocks to it from a couple of different Anita Good Design ones. Um, the Drunkard's Path is so beautiful. I love it. And then the outside is going to be beautiful blocks and borders. And if you haven't seen that design set, check it out. Uh, this is the second time I've used it and it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. What? We can also create polls on Facebook. Polls? Yeah. Oh, you can vote on, for things on, on Facebook. Okay. Okay, that's that. That might be cool. If you couldn't hear Don, cause he mumbles, um, he said that you can do polls on Facebook, so we could take more official votes when we, you know, pick different things. All right, little more swirly things. I know it's kind of trimmy, and it's taking a few minutes. Oh, I do have one little problem. The bunny tail. The bunny tail. What am I going to do for the bunny tail? Um, bunny tails are usually fluffy and white, but then I'll have to introduce another color. What should I do? What do you think, Don? Uh -huh. Bunny tail brown? I mean, it doesn't matter that much what it is. The I, the fabric in light brown, dear. Uh, uh, 
Nobody can see what I'm stitching when you're on that view. Thanks. Yeah, that's a quandary. So if you have a suggestion for the bunny tail, very light brown or lavender. Yeah, see, I was thinking lavender and outlining it with the lightest brown. That was my thinking. I just didn't know if that was weird. However, on the top half of the bunny, <coughs> excuse me, we put his cheeks as lavender. Roxanna says hello from sunny California. Mm. Must be nice there. Okay, as soon as we get all this done, we can go to the applique. So can we get it done? Let's go, man. Let's go. So, yes, I've been having lots of fun with the new little printer thing. I know exactly how it works. And I guess I'll make a video of that because... It's pretty darn cool. I want to do some experiments to see what else I can do with it. So I'm still working on that. It works amazingly. I've done washi tape. I did um, a photograph. I posted it in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group. And uh, I thought it was cool that it could print a photograph. Pretty small, but still. Okay, I think we're starting the applique and we're going to be doing his leg first. I do kind of want it all in one, but I might not be able to do that. Because I think it's doing one and the other. Uh, it is. It is. I should have done this beforehand. Because uh, we're doing it all the same color, right? I suppose I could do this. Could I do this? Put it all as one and let it stitch out twice? I should be able to. If I mess it up, it's Don's fault. I did it. Yeah, because I just kind of want one piece because it's only one thing, unless there's overlaps, but I don't think there is. Second guessing myself now. I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. And I'll just do all the trimming at the end. Yay! Alicia says medium brown on Facebook. Oh, I don't have any. <coughs> I don't have any. So, it's actually, I think it's going to stitch out shortly. What is washi tape, someone asked? It's um really pretty tape that everyone uses because it's a really light sticking tape so you can use washi tape on your hoop or different things like that um, a lot of people use it for scrapbooking and you know making up pages or on books you can get some really beautiful like Christmas ones uh, it's wonderful that's the tail right there so I guess we're leaving it and and is what else is he stitching? Oh, the top part of him. This is so cute. It's a bunny butt. I think it would look cute and diff. Wow, that was close. That was close. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Now the next step is the tack down, and because I have it, I'm doing it differently, which I don't know if I should be, but I'm doing it. I'm just gonna skip it. And then the next is the applique of the bunny body. And then I'm going to trim everything out. So it's just making it easier. Um, he'll have a brown tail and he'll like it. <laughs> That's about all I got there. Oh, I was a little nervous about that one piece there, Dawn. I think he would look amazing in different colors. Um, of fabric. I think it would add to it like a lighter brown for his feet. I, I just don't have it and I want it to really go along with it. So now we're going to go and do some trimming as soon as this gets done stitching. And my goodness, that was too close. Jeepers, man. Jeepers. Well, that's okay. I love that the medium brown. I love that on the dark brown. It works out so well. 
So now we're gonna have to switch threads when we come back too. But first, let's go back to the desk, Don. Desk is up. And I'm gonna move my Alfred Hitchcock bunnies and take my two Lepinks and we're gonna trim very carefully. Yeah, I just, like I said, I just wanna keep it uh, one color. What I might do is get a yellow, a yellow, a white pom-pom and stick it on here. So it's kind of 3D. I think that'll solve the problem. What do you think, Don? Yes. Like a pom-pom or make a pom-pom or I was going to say a cotton ball, but they're not generally nice shapes. Maybe I'll see how that looks. And then if I don't like it, I just don't have to glue it. So I think that might work. Not much trimming on the bottom there. Uh, well, no, because I put everything, I put everything all at once, just because it's, I don't know if it's nicer with one piece of fabric, but there's no print really on this. It's a blender kind of fabric, but it just makes it, there's no need to spend the time trimming stuff when you don't have to. I think the bunny butt is cute. I like it. And I just snipped his toe. Darn it. Hello from Netherland. Yay. I might not be able to fix this. Or... Cindy West is asking if you're moving to Facebook instead of YouTube. No, 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 no. YouTube is my goal, remember. I just thought I wanted to see if it was easier to watch if more people would watch it so that's why we're broadcasting to only the group but that's why we're broadcasting to the group just to as see well yeah so at the same time all right back to the machine don my luminaire oh wait judy quiltle <laughs> <laughs> i left fluffies <laughs> on it and there we go and i think good. yeah That's except good for i over trimmed his toe but i'm pretty sure that it'll get covered up with the satin stitches so now yeah, we did that's the darkest brown all right so i got to change threads don and put my dark brown on okay and we should be able to do lots. That says leg. I wonder why they didn't do all the browns. Rose says she has to leave. Sorry, and she won't watch later. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Watch the replay on YouTube. That would be better so I can get the views and YouTube shares it. Yeah, sharing on um, Facebook, I guess, is kind of counterproductive, but... I want as many people as I can to join in. So I thought it would be worth a try. If it doesn't make any difference, then we'll leave it on YouTube. But I just thought it's one more notification and I set up the event and everything. He's cute. So next I think we're doing the light brown, which is going to be... Uh, his tail, his feet, and a bit on his belly. He's got like kind of polka dots. I love how well the brown matches. I love it. And we'll see if I'm gonna have to do this all over again. I shouldn't, but you never know. It's my fault I was rushing a little bit. But this is something that has to be perfect. Perfectly, perfectly perfect. Yes, we're gonna do the light one. So there we go. Thread color changed on. There we go. Take off that dark. We are gonna need the dark again, but for now I'm gonna put the lightest one, which is still pretty brown. It's not like tan or anything. It was, it was a little bit of work to figure out uh, thread because I have lots of Floriani but I can't get any more Floriani anywhere <laughs> as hard as I looked <laughs> anywhere 
Um, so that kind of sucked. So we just kind of worked with what we've what we had. So I used I used these browns because I have enough of them. I think that should make it. We'll know in a minute. I hope it does. Oh yeah, I love how the light brown looks. That's awesome. Or a cotton ball. Yeah, I was thinking that, Lynn. I'll see if I like it or not. That way I'm not committed to anything. I just want to make sure this guy's foot gets in. So 66, so Wednesday is not a really popular day, is it? I, I see... S yeah, no, there's not a lot. Well, it didn't quite make it, but I do know there's another piece. So, another stitch exactly where it is. Darn it. I, I think it'll be okay, though. Because I know there's satin there. So, okay, well, that kind of sucked, but there you go. I, I didn't say any swear words. Could you use a little bit of glue and stick it on your foot? Before you the before lines are going to show. It's going to show no matter what you do here, and I think that might look worse. I could put a dot sharpie on it, but uh, I'm pretty sure the next one is going to cover it over. So there's just a little highlight in the medium brown, and I think it'll cover over it. So... Yeah, it's just almost exactly where I messed up. If not, then I I guess I'll be stitching late tonight. That's okay. Always when you buy fabric and thread and everything, buy more than you need. So if something like this happens, you don't have it just, you know, down to exactly precisely the amount that you need. Um, so there can be room for mistakes and you don't worry about it. That's the last thing you should worry about when you're making a big project for sure. Ask me how I know. How many times has it happened? More than once. So I hope it covers up. I'm not all that happy. I'm not crying, but I'm not all that happy. Oh well, I guess it's all good practice. So it's going to do the tummy part, the tail first, I think, and then the tummy part. I love the contrast, the high contrast there. I think that's awesome. The last steps we're going to do is the folded fabric, and then we're going to make up for our seam allowance here. So what I was saying before is I, um, I try to pre-cut all of my background fabric because the for the inside of the quilt it's all going to be lavender so I'm doing the 8x8 eight eight design and so I make the um, pieces 10x10 10 10. so that's why I had so much extra but I will be able to use some of the pieces for the border part here so it works out but I just kind of have it set like that what is up with the Floriani in Canada? I looked and looked because I had found the perfect lavender in Floriani and I had it and I thought, all right, I could get a couple of big ones and then I'd be all set. No, I I couldn't find where to buy it. It was like nothing. This is hot pink fixes everything. Hot pink. Well, her name isn't hot pink brown. <coughs> It's <laughs> lavender Lynn. <laughs> so yeah, I I don't I don't know where to buy Floriani in Canada. No place as far as I can see. But that's okay. There's other brands that work just fine. Um the purple that we did get was from Super Punch. They have their own brand of thread which is just fine. Really? Do they have a website? Because I did a Google search, a Google Canada search, and 
I came up with Bubkiss. You know what I mean? Bubkiss. Nada, nothing. Nope. Know what I mean, Vern? Nobody knows what that means, John. No! Just you! <laughs> I refuse to be part of that, seeing how I'm a little bit older than you. Believe it or not. Okay, next color. It is the darker, the medium brown. So, thread color change, Don. There we go. Or oh, you're on the ball. I think I heard you clicking. There we go. So, take off the light, add the medium, and I think dark is going to be the last the last color on and it's going to finish up uh and then we did uh, do the, the my favorite part which is the folded fabric part sashing that's the word i know it'll catch up with me but everyone keep watching the videos our viewership has gone way down we need to we need to keep it up I don't know why, but I keep blowing on the screen to get rid of the bouncing fuzzies. I thought I did. Uh, there's some. It's kind of stuck. It's kind of stuck in the uh, warm and natural. Don, Donna says, um, yes, they have a website, and I know what Bubkiss is. <laughs> <laughs> you know who says Bubkiss all the time? Um, Adam Savage. That's why we say it, probably. I reject your reality and substitute my own. Both my kids were brought up on Mythbusters, which was awesome. Their science teachers kept asking them, how do you know what a dynamometer is? How is that possible? And they happily answered, Mythbusters! And they're like, wow. And we actually went to see the Myth Mythbusters live, and it was... Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it favors my nerdiness. Yeah, that was that was not quite as good as Jacksepticeye. The girls, we Don and I sacrificed our tickets to get them VIP tickets. There was only two, so we sacrificed it so the girls could... Uh, meet with Jack Septicai, which was awesome. We didn't have great seats for Mythbusters, but yeah, Adam Savage says Bubkiss all the time, and so we kind of do too. But that's okay. Lots of trims, man. That's okay. I like his little polka dot belly. You know what? The brown tail doesn't look bad at all. No, looks good. Yeah. He's well, yeah, he's a bit darker than I'd like, I think, but the brown, the dark brown looks fantastic everywhere else. I guess I could have made the bunny a different color just so he stands out, but I think it'll look better if it matches, too. Elizabeth says, what color is the number of the lavender? Maybe she can find some inside it. Oh, no, thanks. Thank you very much. We got it from Super Punch. We just had to... It, it matches perfectly, but we just had to go another direction because we couldn't find it. So Super Punch is here in Canada, and I had small versions of it, and the one we had, not quite as perfect. Not... Really? Not... Qu oh, that's why it's pulling on here. And not quite as perfect as the Floriani, but it was still pretty good, and I'm very happy with it. But thank you. Anyways, I do appreciate it. Um, I'm going to keep using what we've got. Sometimes you just have to, you know, go with the flow, I guess. Right, Don? Yep. We were like, oh, okay, so... <laughs> We kind of briefly looked at Gunnold, but then we were like, nah, because you have to order a whole bunch and they charge a fortune for shipping. So we went, oh, Johnny, Super Punch, he's got everything. I use all of his, this um, cutaway is from Johnny, from Super Punch, and I love it. It's just as good as anything I've ever tried. And I think, how many yards is that one, or meters? The big, huge thing I got? I don't even remember. It's a lot. Like a hundred? A hundred? It's a lot. So I won't be buying uh, this stuff 
anytime soon, I think. Not at all. Look at I like his polka dots. Yeah, we see cute. this with the bunny top. Well, as soon as it's done stitching, I'll put them together because same. I want to see what it looks like. Um, this is what always catches my attention with this design, all the animal adventures, is that the animals are separated into two different blocks, and it looks like they're going around the sashing, uh, or behind, I guess, and I just think that just adds so much to the design. I love it. I love it. That's the part that catches my attention anyways. So I think it's, um, I think it's <laughs> Crush Embroidery Mist with OML. Yeah. Well, we did the Embroidery CSI. That was fun. I guess we have better cameras and better mics. We could do even a better job of, uh, what did we call it? Detective Sue? No, me neither. Why not? It was like a main thing. We had so much trouble recording for some reason. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, I took basically my kids a hockey gear that they were forced to buy that was hockey pucked and terrible and um, explained why. It, it was a mystery. We solved the mystery of the hockey puck hockey jersey. It was fun. So we kind of analyzed what went wrong and how to fix it. It was good. It was fun. I don't know how popular it was, but I liked it. All right, here's the stitches. It, it's going to do the next foot next. That might save my design. So please, please save my design, Captain Jack. It's just a little highlight in satin stitches. Okay, now, now's the time. Now's the time. And, and, maybe. Oh, we got a maybe. Oh, you can't see it yet. I see enough of it. Aw. Well, I'll have to look at it afterwards. So I got to go back to the dark brown. That's all we're doing in the medium brown. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I will probably do it again. My bad on that. Kind of sucks. But there we go. So dark brown because our bunny is dark brown. Um, on the other hand, though, I will say that no one will ever notice his little toe you know messed up it's not that big of a deal but it is a wedding present so it's all part of it i i doubt it just kind of looks like there's a fluffy it covered most of it so i think i did pretty well on that mm -hmm. maybe i'll see if just a little tiny bit of dark brown sharpie might make it look so it's not screaming swear words at me so we'll have to see we'll have to see embroidery case files that's what it was yeah well <laughs> we said for people and you know what we could do them again quite nicely because it's quite fun send us pictures because we ran out of my kids gear <laughs> <laughs> my kid, my poor kids. Ooh, that's crappy. But they couldn't get me to do it. Blah, blah, blah. It's a long story. You know how team sports are. Uh, if you have terrible embroidery that you purchased or that you see, take a picture of the front and the back and we will solve it. We will solve it. It was a lot of fun. I had a really good intro for it. And we just chatted about why it was bad. Actually, we could record. Oh, yes, we could um, keep the audio and put it into a podcast too. That would be kind of cool. All right, so email me sue at omlembroidery.com of any 
bad embroidery that you see. If you have no idea what we're talking about, go on the OML Embroidery channel and look for embroidery case files and watch a couple of them. The recording is not the greatest. The information is fantastic. And uh, if we can get some submissions, we can, we can do them again. Because they, they were fun and we didn't make fun of anybody or we're not like insulting anyone. Names. No names, no names. But I mean, I haven't been out of the house in a long time. So if you see someone, remember we did a patch for someone she wanted a name on a jacket and she brought it over and I just kind of looked at her and it was so terrible that I said, um, do you want me to do this again for you? It was a, a stretchy, it was a stretchy jacket and, um, I gotta put a thread color change here, Don. It's another one. I didn't know. Uh, and they stretched it out to hoop it so when you do that and you unhoop it the embroidery stretched out and I felt so bad and she's like nah I know it's not the greatest I said well all right but I felt so bad we don't do a whole lot of local stuff Dawn kind of does it I think we do all the nursing students for their uh their uniforms, which is kind of funny. Yeah, we do a lot of those. Yeah, Don does. We have it, like, saved, I think, into the the one machine, don't we? Yep. It's kind of funny. So, just uh, another little bit highlight, and then we're going to get to the folded fabric. So, in the big picture, I don't think anybody would notice it. Uh, also, it's not going to tear. It's not going anywhere. So, I'll think about it and see. Because that's the thing, if you miss the applique and say it gets caught on something, it could tear it all out if it's forceful enough. But this one has uh, embroidery covering it and there's no way anyone's gonna rip out satin stitches or anything like that all right so here we go this is gonna make our seam allowance thank you for asking about that because it does seem kind of weird to do it this way however if you think about the bulk of it it's a much better way so I have a couple of scraps that are kind of hacked but let me just see I try to be frugal. Yeah, I should be able to do that just fine. Is this one folded? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just wondered why I did a complete outline underneath instead of just a line. Position? Ah. Uh. Now it's going to do the line because this is the folded part. So, yes, when you see a line, then you know it's folded fabric and you put it down in the opposite direction that you're folding it. I always have a hard time describing that. But yes, that's what it is. And these are scraps from two of the sides. So I'm not wasting any lavender on it. And it should be just enough. These are the short sides. All right, now that that's done, we wait for it to do its dance. My hands are ready. And then fold it over. And look at what a gorgeous finish that is. And Judy Quilt says that she's the queen of getting things caught on the embroidery machine. Oh, like what? <laughs> she didn't say. Oh. She said she's the queen of getting things caught. I try not to. So look, isn't that beautiful? Look at the... Oh, I love it. So that used up any scraps that I had, so I'm really happy with that. I've only got two of them. The other two was thin, but... I'm going to use half of it. So I think that's uh, pretty good. So for this one, we got to do placement again. So we know where the line is going to go, Don. That's why we have placement. I understand. Although it's pretty clear, I guess. You could guess at it, but I don't know. I wouldn't guess too much at folded fabric. Could be kind of dangerous. So now I have a nice line to work off of. 
It was a good question, Don, by the way. I'm just giving you a hard time because I'm married to you and I can. Yeah, that was in the contract. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So, fabric face down, going in the opposite direction that you're going to fold it. So when we fold, you just have to make sure you have enough. Now I have to I have to calculate in my brain for the rest of this plus you want a seam allowance. So what quilt says she tries not to get anything caught, but darn that foot. Yeah, sometimes I guess, right? And I'm just gonna finger press it and make it a nice it kind of sticks down a little bit, so. And then we're gonna stitch it down. Maureen says the sashing really finishes it off. I love it. I think that is um, a fantastic way to do in the hoop. Quilt blocks is the built-in sashing. It's so much time saved to do it this way, and it's perfect. So, speaking of Judy Quilt, before we do the long sides, it's really important for uh, not getting stuff stuck and turned that you trim off, you don't even have to be that accurate, but you trim off the outer edges. So, not the seam allowance, just the outer edges here. And we just want to trim them down so the second part goes over it a little bit better. Um, I didn't trim one once and it got caught up and, and kind of folded over and it just wasn't the greatest look I've ever seen. So uh, I just take a second to trim it. It's very nice. So what I'm using on the long side is scraps from my cutting the 10 by 10s. I wish I had an AccuQuilt die that was 10 by 10. Because that would be really convenient, wouldn't it? They have it, I just, I just don't. Why don't you? Because <sighs> they're expensive and I probably have enough. Oh. Santa Mom. Santa Mom. <laughs> 10 by 10 square die. Thank you. There we go. I just got a whole bunch for the Tula Pink. Tula Pink, what is it? No, no. Tula Nova quilting. So it's not embroidery. It's quilting, so it's sewing. And I had a hard time making the... the right size and it's tulip pink fabric and the pressure was so much i'm like i need i need the dyes done he's like okay so otherwise you're gonna have to cut them out for me and they have to be perfect because if you keep doing them wrong then everything's wrong yeah, I'm not cutting them out. yeah no so accu quilt to the rescue I just, uh, I mean, practice makes perfect, and it's something I need to do is, you know, I'm much better at it now. It seems like it should be easy, but it isn't, and I just don't have the time to keep practicing it. I know that sounds weird, but I couldn't cut a straight line to save anybody. So, look at the beautiful finish. It does finish it off. I love it even using the same color uh, usually um i use different colors for the sashing but i want to keep the colors you know down on this one i was gonna do brown for the sashing but not all the blocks are sashed so and i thought i want the bunny to stand out he's the only brown guy so another scrap that is too long but I'm not worried about it and place it down over the foot <laughs> try there we go good enough I have lots of room so I'm not going to worry about it too much and this is our very last step so that was pretty easy I'm dying to see how they look together I'm so happy nice what Butterfly. Oh, yes, I do have butterfly on my 
burgundy kind of glowing nails. Thank you. Come again, as they say. All right, so. This is beautiful. Why, 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 why? Oh, I'm just not seeing it. Okay, it looked to me like this was folded over, but it isn't just the way the light was shining on it. And I was gonna try to figure out why that went like that. Don't put your fingers in the hoop like I am. It's dangerous. Ask Don, he knows. I I think I have the whole set, but I wouldn't make animals. Like, I just have no need for it. They're great for baby and the colors that they use. But this one, just because Lavender loves bunny rabbits so much. She's also asking how many layers of stabilizer and what kind. Just one layer of stabilizer, and it's a cutaway. And what I'm using is no-show mesh cutaway. So I'm just going to pop this out and then we'll go back to the desk, Don. No show mesh cutaway is generally what I use for all the quilting stuff. So I just like it because it's soft but strong. So it kind of it kind of makes it nice. All right, before are we at the desk, yeah. Don? All right, I'm going to tidy this up just a quick bit. Oh, he's so cute. So I'm just going to not be too careful about it because I will be squaring them up a little bit after. So I don't worry. <laughs> the other nice thing about the sashing is that you have a wonderful sew line. And it looks great. What are you giggling at over there? Judy Quilt says, being a middle school teacher, working with paint markers, chalk, etc., for decades, I never, ever got a manicure, but your nails convinced her to go for her very first manicure. Oh, good for you! Yay! Yay! All right, I'm just going to fold it over. <laughs> what do you think, Don? I think it looks awesome. Oh, my goodness. She is going to love that so much. Yeah, see, he's leaning on it, and he's kind of hanging from it to get the butterfly. It's nice, you know, kind of action and motion in the design. But yeah, the sashing is so cute, even with it matching. So I'm going to give him his little thought bubble right here that says it's bunny time, because I was playing with my new printer. Um, That's awesome. That's awesome. I will take some some time-lapse videos of some of the other blocks if you guys want. Uh, you can still get the idea of how I'm doing it. Let me know in the comments after the video if you want to see some cool time-lapse ones. Uh, I didn't for this one. Uh, I don't know why I didn't. But here are the Drunkard's Path. And I love this. Feathers are my favorite designs. Uh, I love quilting designs like that. And then this is one from the Anita Good Design collection. And they all go together. Same colors. Isn't that cute? Deborah is saying hello from Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. That's awesome. Well, I am really happy with Benny Bunny. And I think Lavender will be too. So I'm going to keep working on this. Remember Saturday, guys, our favorite stitch along day. We're going to do the block of the month six. And it's a hexagon snowflake. And it's gorgeous. We're going to have lots of fun with that. So thanks everyone for sh watching. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. We will take good care of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye everyone. Oh, I love Benny Bunny. He's so bunny.